The Hearts, a Prairie Central's baseball team, returned to the field today for the first time since the death of classmates Drew and Dylan. Their game with El Paso Gridley began with the two teams meeting at home plate for prayer. A very touching moment before the game. The Hawks, the home team at the corn crib as they took on El Paso Gridley. Nice play right here by shortstop Carson Friedman. He made a couple of nice plays when I was at the game. Nice play right here. But El Paso Gridley pitcher Mac Raymer was terrific on the bump. The lefty paints the outside corner. Raymer also drives one to center field right here to drive in Mason Vandegraft. And El Paso Gridley's a winner 16-3. Great to see the Hawks out there playing ball. Morton hosting Normal Community, and this is a pitcher's duel between a couple of nasty lefties. Okay. Ethan Everly, five innings, eight strikeouts for Normal Community. Morton's Tate Rowley, five innings, three hits, four strikeouts. He was dynamite as well. I only saw one hard hit ball when I was there. Brandon Seaman will crush the ball to center field right there, but O'Reilly Hendren goes a little say hey kid, a little Willie Mays to make the catch out there for the Ironman. Ryan Schaffnett came in, pitched the final two innings, faced, uh, got six outs, all via the strikeout. Morton wins the game three zip, a great win for the Potters. Limestone hosting Normal West, and we'll start with a little squeeze. It's going to be Isaac Garkey squeezing home Cam Semeroth for Limestone, but from finesse to power, Chicks dig the long ball. Sam does carpentry with the three-run jack. That one wound up at the airport, I believe. Normal West wins it by a final. He's fired up. Yep, yeah, you bet. Normal West wins it 10 to 5. East Peoria hosting Bloomington Central Catholic on that new turf at Eastside Center. They're having a little bit of fun right there. Uh, Charlie Graham with a nice piece of hitting right here for Bloomington Central Catholic as both teams were able to score some runs. Kurt Sosnowski, who was terrific on the mound the other day for East Peoria, goes the opposite way for a base hit. East Peoria's going to win this game by one. Watch this. Okay, official scorers at home. Uh, check this play out. This is uh, third base, five, to second base, four, to three. Now the shortstop's hustling over to cover third. And uh, look at that. Landon hit him, made the turn. Jace Wilkinson the throw. Jack Dubois to put out. That's a 5 4 3 6 double play. 8 7 East Peoria wins it. All right, to softball. IBC taking on back to back state champ Illini Bluffs. Katie Petron was Katie Petron. She had 19 strikeouts in the circle. Third inning, Katie Petron says goodbye softball. A long home run at the Louisville Slugger Dome makes it one zip. Later in the inning, Elena Kramer is going to Kramer one. She creams it out of the ballpark as well. And again, Petron, 19 strikeouts. She tosses a one hitter. We'll let her set one more down here. IBC's a winner. Two zip. Gray goes. One, two, three, Tessa. We're all on Team Tessa. Dunlap playing their first ever lacrosse game against Washington. Washington sophomore Hannah Banker with the goal. Then it's going to be a freshman Carly Pettit with a goal, but I want to congratulate Dunlap on their first girls lacrosse game. Good to see him out there. Washington a winner 15 to 4. The Washington boys team hosting Lamont. The more I watch lacrosse, the less I understand it, but this is legal. Boom! <laughs> That's perfectly legal. Christian Good, the big hit to cause the turnover. James Boyer is going to make a nice short hop save. Boyer was terrific. Shut out Lamont in the first half. Here it's going to be Deegan Reese to Nicholas Gomez. He finds the freshman, Miles Maloney, hanging out behind the net. Maloney stuffs it home, and Washington is a winner. Congratulations to three Peoria Notre Dame stars, Peoria Notre Dame soccer state champs, and cousins Dylan Sticklemeyer and Evan Livert will both sign with St. Ambrose University today. Becca Dawson signs with Eureka College Volleyball. Congratulations to three great Irish college-bound athletes. 